Okay, so it's 1978. Margaret finishes work. She works as a cleaner at a high school. She heads home across the park that she's walked across many a time. There was no reason for her to be scared that night. There was no reason for her to be scared any night. She had done this route home many a time, it was said. Um, except this night, it turns out someone was watching Margaret. And uh, Margaret never made it home. So the basic gist of what happened to Margaret was she set out, she walks across the park through the forest. She's almost home and somebody comes up behind her, hits her across the back of the head. She's then raped. She's murdered. She's left to rot. The killer then comes back a couple of days later, moves her body, strips her, takes away her jewellery, and it's said that he tried to remove her head in order for the police to have a harder time to identify the body. Now the police, early on in the investigation, they established this must be a local man because he had um, knowledge of the woods and um, the fact that he came back and moved her body. He, he didn't just move her body, he moved her body to a part of the park that had already been searched by the police. So he must have been watching the police. That's the crazy thing about this case, is he was watching where they'd been searching and he dragged her 500 yards and uh, buried her body in a shallow grave. Only her shoulder was showing the police established this must be a local man and a young man to be able to drag a dead body 500 yards as well is no small feat you know this must have been a young man an opportunist what i think personally myself looking into this looking into the area where she was found i believe that he had set up camp and he was waiting for a university student to come across his path. It just so happened that that night, who knows, he may have seen some university students walking past, but safety in numbers and all that, and he was waiting for someone to be on their own. And it just so happened that Margaret had to be passing through this park at that time, and he took his opportunity. And what happened to Margaret is disgusting, it's sad, it's harrowing, uh, but it happened and still to this day it's unsolved they've never found a murder weapon they've never found her clothes or her jewelry they did door to doors they investigated all the local men but nothing has ever come up on this and this is why i wanted to look into this case now this is case number one there's going to be a case number two and i'm going to show you how they're both linked into each other it's two different times right so this is 78 and the next case is in 86. But I'm going to show you how they're linked together. Um, so what we're going to do, me and Shock, we're going to go out today. And we're going to investigate the scene of the crime. We're going to take the paranormal equipment and we're going to see what we can come up with. We're going on instinct with this one. I know a small area of the park. It's like a hundred square foot. Yep. of area yeah right that this has happened in i don't know where her body was dragged to 500 yards away don't know that but i know where the original attack took place a rough estimation a rough area of where that took place we're going to talk in serious woodland you can very easily get lost in this very easy it's like 50 hectares of space now you know, I know that sounds like gobbledygook. Like to me, if you say 50 hectares, like I've got, listen, it's massive. This place is huge. Uh, it's used every day by dog walkers. On the weekends, people go over there, they have picnics. It's a massive space, right? Now, right now, this is like some back to the future shit. We've actually been out. Okay, we've been out there today and what we're going to show you is what we found today. 
there will be a part two because we feel like there needs to be a part two. We need to return to the scene at night. Yeah, we've got to go back at night because we're, we got a lot today, which I'm really excited about. And I was expecting something, but I wasn't expecting as much as we got. Um, like I said, just going on instinct and just letting our bodies lead us. So guys, what you've got to understand is if you're going to do paranormal investigation, you can take as much equipment as you want and take a lot of equipment because the more equipment, the more evidence, brilliant, the better it is for the science. But at the end of the day, the biggest part of equipment is the human body and going on intuition and trusting that voice inside you that leads you in certain directions. And that's exactly what happened today. So I had an idea of where it occurred. Shock didn't know. And we ended up in and around the location that it happened. I'm, I'm sure of that now, 100%. There's no way that it happened anywhere else. The amount of stuff that we picked up on and felt and the amount that we've captured in this area, I'm 100% sure we were led to it, okay? So what you're about to see is the footage from today. I hope you're excited. Yeah, yeah let's do this. It was amazing. Let's get into the footage. I hope you enjoy. As always, comment below, hit the like button. We are going back for a part two. Sunny is going to be back for part two. We're going back at night. With all that said, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, we're in the park. I feel like we're about halfway to where we need to be. And at the moment, we've been walking the path that I believe is the path that Margaret took. But at the moment, we have just gotten to a crossroads. So there's Shock over there, up there. There's one path. There's another path. And there's a third path up there. And that is the way we just came. But I think, personally, it's either the path that Shock is on now, or it's this path here, because her house was over in that direction. So I think we're gonna go this way because we're being, we're being more drawn towards this direction. So I think we're gonna head that way and see what happens. And I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Let's go. All right. We've been walking for about 15 minutes now. We haven't crossed paths with anyone else. We haven't even seen any dog walkers. I mean, this woman must have been brave. We were just saying it. To do this at 6 p.m. in the evening on her own, around this time of year as well. So the sun was probably down at that point and she was walking this path in the darkness. I know the 70s was a bit of a different time people weren't so fearful things like this were few and far between they didn't happen so I understand when people say she was used to doing this walk but us doing this walk right now I'm not gonna lie to you I don't think I'd be brave enough to walk through here at night on my own she must have been a brave courageous woman and we're about halfway so you can imagine it's, it's quite a long way it seems as we've been walking 10 minutes already, as you can hear, I'm out of breath. It's been uphill, it's flattening out a bit now. But I'm just a bit in awe of the woman, to be honest, if she walked this path. Now, guys, what you've got to understand is we're going on feeling. Now, I know about 100 square yards area of where this was supposed to have taken place. And I can surmise, using logic, the route she would have took to get from A to B, to get from work to home. And I believe this is that route. Uh, to be honest, I'm just 
a bit in shock that a lady would walk through here at night on her own at that time of year. It's mad. We're in the area where it happened. Last two minutes we've both started picking up on a few things, feeling like we're being watched and feeling like this would have been the perfect place. As you can hear, there's a road behind me and she was trying to get over there to her house. We're on this path here. Shock's just got a feeling that he needs to go and check out what's, what's in here. And as he was saying that, I've spotted like a black bin liner. So I'm just gonna go in. Shock's already in there. Yeah, what is that on the floor? That looks like tarpaulin or something. It's not even a bin liner. It might be for compost. And then it looks like there's a tobacco pouch over there as well. Can you see that, guys? That white thing there is a tobacco pouch. I want to see how old that is. Give me a set. There you go. It's a tobacco pouch there, but I can't get to it. There's too many holly bushes. There's another bag over there with what looks like an umbrella underneath it. Oh, man. It's weird. We haven't really seen that much rubbish either, have we? And all of a sudden, we both get a feeling off this bit. And there's like rubbish strewn about the place. So I think we go to the end of this path and have a look and then we're going to get the equipment out. And if we have to come back, we'll come back this way. All right, that's what we're going to do, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're pretty sure we're on the right path now. Uh, we've both been getting some strange feelings the last five minutes. And logically, if I was her, I would stay as close to the road as possible, which is just down there because she lived over there. So logically, you would get on the path closest and then at the last moment, try and cross over this road. So we're just walking down this path now to try and see where it ends. But back behind us is where we were getting the feeling. So we're just gonna explore a bit more down here and then we're gonna head back on ourselves and start getting some equipment out. Because to be honest, like I wasn't expecting to straight away pick up on things but instantly I started feeling like I was being watched and then I had a feeling of dread as well um, so yeah let's just see what's at the end of this and then we'll we'll double back on ourselves right guys we are at what we thought was the end of the path but it turns out it's a tree fall again at the abandoned railway station me and Sonny had a tree fall down and we've got here there's a tree blocking our route and we've been walking now for a good 20 minutes well more than that about half an hour and there seems to be an end to this path but we just wanted to stop here because we just found it a bit strange so that's the second time in a video that I've found my path blocked by a fallen tree so we're gonna head on let's go this is the end of the path and this is what I was looking for I was looking for this car park behind me as you can see there's some cars there now there's one theory that the person that committed this crime is a guy called Peter Tobin one of Peter Tobin's MO's was that he drove around in a camper van and he used to pick up hitchhikers put, put his victims in the back of the van and I just found it very strange when I was looking into the case that Margaret was killed not far from here and that there happened to be a car park in the middle of the forest. Uh, was, it, was he parked up here and then headed this way? The other thing is, in this direction, is a university residence and it was there in 78. So maybe he was looking for a university girl, hoping that he'd catch, catch a university girl on her own, walking home, and he saw Margaret and he took his chance. It's just a theory, it's still unsolved, but it's a theory nonetheless. So here we are at the end of the path and I think we're gonna head back now, get back to where we were feeling some strange things occurring and get some equipment out. Let's do it. Right, so I'm being pulled into this section here. My curiosity has peaked. I wanna take this device with me. As you can see, the numbers are at zero. And we're at 65.8. 
right now that's the degrees here we go another's coming through on the reader strange apprehension coming through there's a strange apprehension in me to walk further in just the temperature's dropping because we're away from the sun right now Just to keep moving forward. Yeah. I'm unsure why. I mean, we're not that far away from the sunlight, but the temperature's dropping rapidly. Is it? Yeah, we've gone down to 59 now. Oops. Did that just go off? No, dropped it. But it did go off when it dropped. Yeah, he dropped it and it went off. Mad. I feel like something in there. Take this for a minute, I'm going to go for a wander. Yeah. Kill all the All right, sh shocks. Yeah, I don't feel colder. So, the temperature modulator, the temperature reader on that system is showing a massive decrease in temperature, but neither of us are feeling it i mean we're in dense wood now so there's not that much sunlight but i don't feel like the temperature's dropped drastically anyway but he's just going on feeling and he feels like he's being drawn somewhere and to be honest guys sometimes that's the best instrument to take when you're researching the paranormal is the human body and going on instinct we've all got had them feelings where we've had chills um, oh my days are you serious what is that look just as i'm talking right he's been drawn in here look at this does that not look like a tent that is a structure for a tent yeah this is mental look at this guys seriously Someone's definitely had a tent here. Now, I'm not saying it's like, it can't be from the 70s. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying it's weird that we've been drawn in certain directions and now we've just found this. This is a beauty. This may be maybe a homeless person or maybe some students that wanted to do a little camp out in the woods. I just find that's mad. I can't believe that. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Right, I'm losing sight of shock. Like, this is the thing. This is autumn, so loads of the trees have lost their leaves. But within seconds, you can lose sight of each other. It's so dense in here, it's unreal. Really dense. I've actually, yeah, I've actually lost sight of him now. It, I can hear him, it's down there somewhere. That's what I mean. I could see him a couple of seconds ago. So can you imagine? With the sun gone down, oh, he's over there. See, what did I hear over? What? What did I hear over there then? Imagine with the sun gone down in October, it wouldn't be hard to hide, that's for sure. To hide out like the killer would have done. It's so dense, like it gets dense really, really quick. It's unreal. And I've lost sight of him again, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're only like. 20 foot apart areas over there like 20 foot apart and I keep losing sight and look right there is a path right right there is a path so if you were back in here in these bushes in amongst these trees there's the there's the tent structure that was just that it'd be so easy to hide so easy to hide I've just said to them 
Like you're only like 15 foot away and I lose sight of you straight away. Yeah, this is a, It's dense, isn't it? It's, it's a strange wood. There's a wood thing in here. Yeah, you're getting it's it as well. 10 degrees Fahrenheit and it's not any colder. It's just in this section. It's dropped 10. Yeah. And it's no, there's no major, there's no major reason for it. No, that's what I was just saying. Like, okay, yeah, we're, we're shielded from the sunlight in here, but I, I haven't felt a temperature drop. I've got a weird feeling. But it's got nothing to do with the temperature. What do you reckon? I, I might, I might get out of the spirit box, man. Yeah. I think okay, it's time. Back in that tent area is where it got to the lowest. Yeah. No, That's over there. Right. We're heading back to the tent area. A makeshift tent made out of sticks. That's that's crazy. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. It's like something out of Blair Witch, man. What's that about? Seriously, look at that. It's, look, it's proper tied together as well, look. Look, someone's tied it together with string. It is a proper structure. All right, I think this is a good place to do a spirit box session. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is spirit box session one by the tent structure. As I was just getting this out of my pocket, it felt like someone was behind me. Is anyone here with us right now? Are you watching us? Who's here with us? We don't come here out of disrespect and we're not here to scare you. We're not here to harm you. Can you come and talk with me? The edge has got dark. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Out of nowhere. And now I'm getting voices through. Who am I speaking with? <laughs> what did that just, did that just say, Michael? I heard it. Yeah. Who am I speaking to? Michael? Mem. 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 Okay, so you're saying my name. Who are you? What's your name? Sounded like a male voice as well. Are you a, are you a man? Are you a woman? Who put this tent here? Not getting anything now. No. The first few times you asked questions, it crackled, it responded. Yeah. What happened here? What what happened in these woods? What was that? Who are you? Who's watching us right now? I can feel you watching us. Get it closer to the camera so that you guys at home can hear. Who's here with us? It's not clear enough. It was clear at the beginning. Would anyone like to come and speak to me? Who built this tent? I'm feeling like it's moved. I get the feeling it's moved. Alright guys, I'm getting the feeling that it's moved. That was weird, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, let's look at the turn of events. We found this tent. Shock was led here. 
we just come across this. I'm saying this is this is dense woodland. We could have walked right past this and not even noticed it. The fact that we've got lead right here, and this is the first spirit box session, and it's just said my name twice, and then it went dark and felt dark. <laughs> it felt it, dark. Yeah. And now it's feeling it's feeling like it moved on. So I think we should head back to where we originally got the feelings from. Yeah. And when we get there, let's do another spirit box session, and we're going to do an EVP session down there as well. Let's go. Let's head over there. Right, we're heading back to where we originally started picking up. I'm feeling like there was energy. We both picked up on it at the same time. We've been already walking for about 20 minutes through the woods and didn't feel anything. And then at the exact same moment, we both felt something. We're heading back there now. Um, we're still debating what just happened back at that tent structure. I heard my name twice. So for those of you that don't know, my name's Michael. But my friends call me Mem, and that's why I use Mem for the elementals. It just said both versions of my name, and then Shock reckons when, when I asked what happened here, he heard the word murder. But right now we haven't done an instant playback. We're going to look over that when we're doing the editing later. Um, but I just didn't expect that, and it's, it's brilliant evidence as far as I'm concerned. But I feel like there's more. There's more to give from this place. We're going to try and find the exact location where we would get any original feeling. And then who knows? Maybe we're going to have to come back at night as well. There's a structure over there as well. Look at that. Through there. Does that look like a teacher? Yeah, that's another one. Alright, guys, just talking to you now, and I've just spotted another structure. I'm going to go over to it. Watch yourself here, man. Yep. Another path here. We'll just come off that path. Another path. What is this? Another, that's another tent. If you can just put some tarpaulin over that. Yeah. Brilliant. That's a structure. Now, you know what this one? This one's like more of a rush job. Like someone just leaning stuff on it. The last one we found, someone had taken the time to do a proper structure and they had tied things up. There's no no wires here, there's no string. Someone's just lent this up in a hurry. Maybe it's homeless people, who knows? There are a lot of homeless people in this area. And if you didn't want to be on the streets where it's dangerous, come to the woods, make yourself a shelter. I just find it weird that we got a hit on the spirit box back at that one. Um, that's not the end of that story. We are definitely going to hit that, that place up at night. Yeah, we need back. to come back at night. Just bring the equipment again. But right now, I think we're getting distracted and we need to focus. Yeah, that way. That way. About five minutes that way. Let's go. Go back from this part. Right. Guys, we found the original part where we started getting feelings along this path. This path is the closest one to the road. And if you can see over there in the distance, her road, where she lived, is over there. It's over this carriageway. So I think it makes sense that she would have stuck as tightly as she could to that road because that would make me feel most safe, to be honest, knowing that I can hear cars down there. And along this path, there's bigger trees like this, right? So the police report stated that she was hit from behind and she was stabbed in the back. So a tree like this would be perfect. Now imagine you're her. Watch what happens. Walking along the path, I could be hidden right here. You wouldn't even know it. And before you had time to react, I could run down and hit her. And this is this isn't the only tree. There's another tree around there, and we were getting a feeling about 20 yards down this path. So 
So I'm gonna spread it out there. That's that's what the police know happened. She was attacked from behind, a surprise attack, hit over the head, and then well, what happened next was horrific, and you already know about this. Um, you saw it in the intro. But we're just trying to piece it together. We're trying to figure it out because don't no one knows apart from the police. No one knows the exact location that this took place. Just a general area, and we're in that general area right now. But there's like four parts going back. And I think she would be on this side because her house would have been literally over there. I'm not even joking. I could have swore I just saw. You see down there? Through there, there's a tree. I could have swore I just saw a black figure go behind that tree. And that's why I stopped and I was looking a couple of times. And then as I've seen that, we're back to where we got the feeling from. Yep. The holly bush enclosure where we found some weird little artifacts. I mean, this would be a perfect spot as well. It's so dense. You could just jump out of anywhere, you know? Right, I think I'm going to do... We'll do a spirit box section but a little bit away from the road. Watch out because there's next. session two. Here we go. Is there anyone here with us? Would anyone like to come and speak with us? Margaret, are you here? We don't mean you any harm. We're just here to get your version of events. I just, I would like to speak to you. Would you like to come and speak to us? Is there anyone here with us right now? Margaret, can you lead us to where it was? What happened to you that night? Don't be scared of us. Go in here with it. First voice. I just got a voice come through. I couldn't, couldn't work out what it said. Is there anyone here? That was a woman's voice. Can you speak a little bit clearer for me? What happened here? Who are we speaking with right now? Is this where it took place? That sounded demonic. Did you hear that? That was an answer. answer. I don't know if that was a yes or a no. It was definitely a response. That was a response, 100%. I didn't get any voices out there. Yeah. And look, since we've come in here, I'm getting a man and a woman. Who are we speaking to? Can I speak to the female spirit, please? Can she come forward? Sounded like Mem again. Sounded like it said Mem. Do you know my name? I'd like to hear your name, please. Who's the female spirit? That's 
sounded like Margaret, I'm not even joking. It was really quick. And that's the male, that's the male voice again. Is this where you hid? What happened in this bush? You've got to speak louder. You have to speak louder so that we can hear you. It's the same man and the same woman. What did that say? It's so hard to hear because of that road behind us. Who's here with us? This is your, your chance to tell your story. What happened here? What happened here? Hold on for a minute. I'm yeah. Get the yeah. Shot's, a, shot's gonna get the EMS out. We're getting responses here, but there's a road so close by. I can't make out some of them. What would you like to tell me? Are you getting anything on that? Give me a shout if you get a spike. Are you in here? Oh my God, that sounded, that sounded dark. What happened in this spot? Right, I'll tell you what guys, I'm going to stop this for a second. I know I'm feeling a bit on edge, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm hearing a man's voice and a woman's voice. And when I was out there, nothing, absolutely nothing. And this is the bush that we found on the way in. It's got a few bits and pieces. There's like an umbrella there. There was a tobacco pouch over there some black bags as well and there's the path that I believe she walked down I'm going to go back around to that path and see if I can't get anything around there because I'm getting responses but it's just so hard to pick out it's going to be a bit louder the road actually down here but I want someone to speak to me louder I want a clear response right let's go to where I felt it originally which was when we were over here Oh my God, I just heard a woman scream. Who was that? I had, it, I had it against my stomach and I heard a woman scream through it, man. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> Is this where it happened? Who did I just hear scream? Margaret, if you're here, oh my God, this is, I said her name. Is that you, Margaret? If you're here, can you come and talk to me? Is, is this the path you were walking down? Oh, <laughs> That is the same voice coming through. Guys, it's sweeping. It's at the fastest sweep rate. That came through oh, over the course of about two seconds. That's the same woman's voice. Is that you, Margaret? Dude, it's the same, it's the same woman's voice. Same tone. Were you walking home down this path? That was a scream. Same woman's voice. What happened to you in this like? What happened to you? 
Who did it? What's the name of the man that did this to you? Right, I'm gonna stop this. I'm get, I'm, I'm, I keep hearing the same woman's voice. It's the same tone, it's the same voice. And she's saying sentences. I'm gonna get out the EVP now, because maybe I'll be able to capture something a bit clearer on that. No, I don't feel like we've got anything. I don't think on the path, I think more in that. More in there, yeah. yeah. It's just so yeah. hard to hear. I tell you what, I know that's like a main motorway, but when we come back at night, well, we're, we're thinking of coming back like around two, three in the morning, then there might be less cars. I don't know, that's the main thing. There's like, motorways are always busy, no matter what time of day, but I think there'll be less cars than there is now. Um, what's the time now, it's about? Sun's, the sun's still up, so we're, we're getting close to rush hour. So I think that's why it's so busy down there. Shop's just going to check the time. Three. Three. Three in the afternoon. So if we come back at three in the morning, hopefully it's going to be a bit quieter here. And we'll be able to get more EVPs. But we're going to mark this place. We are definitely coming back here. And we are coming back to the tent. Now what I suggest we do is we head back the way we came and we see if we pick up on anything else on the way back. Let's go. Right guys, we found a bridge, right? Literally, I'll show you in a minute, two minutes away is where we just were at that holly bush where we were getting hits on the spirit box. I don't find it a coincidence, but this is the only bridge we've seen that goes across this motorway to where she would have lived. I think this was her destination. She was trying to get to this bridge and get across to get home. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to do my research and find out when this bridge is put here. But, I mean, it's, it's I, I find it, I don't even find it weird. I think it's perfect. She would have walked along this path and then she would have gone along this bridge to get home. We're going to look into it, but literally up there is where we just were and it's where we were getting the hits on the squirrel box. I think it's all piecing together nicely. And I'm just, yeah, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. So guys, I've just come back off the bridge across the motorway. Um, I'm walking back up to Stanma Park. This is where I've, I think she would have walked down to cross over, to get over to where she lived over there. I mean, this is, this is crazy. I can't believe we actually found this. Because when I was looking at the Google Maps before we came here, I was thinking to myself, how would she get across a dual carriageway? And we just so happened to find this bridge. And it's at the exact point where... I mean, guys, listen, we've been walking... For, we walked for 20 minutes through the forest. And the only time we picked up on any bit of energy was exactly here. We didn't know that bridge was down there. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. See, here we are. Short walk. And there, that's the bush. That's the holly bush. So was he waiting in there for a woman to come from where Shock is to go down the path and over the bridge? I mean, that's... Not only is it logical, but it's come from a spiritual place. What I mean by that is, we just followed our intuition. It's like, it's like a sniffer dog, right? You gotta pick up on these feelings that you're getting and just trust your body and your energy to take you to where you need to be. With a, with a case like this, we had no choice. I had a rounded area of about 100 yards where it was said to have taken place and everything has fallen into that. I mean, I'm blown away right now. Um, it's a bit sad that we didn't get, get more audio, um, but we got a couple of hits on the spirit box. Shock got some interesting evidence on the EMF, which led us 
to the tent in the woods. Um, I did I did one EVP session in the bush back there. I didn't get anything. I don't know. It's too loud because of the the cars, like I was saying. So this is going to have to be one of them ones where we come back at night and we find our way back to this location and we bring the equipment with us and we see what we can pick up then. Um, right now we're heading back. Um, if we if we pick up anything else on the way, then I'll turn the camera on. Right now we're just focusing on walking, but I'm just still in a bit of shock to be honest with you. Got two two voices, a man's voice and a woman's voice coming from that location. And I was just outside of the bush and nothing was happening. I go in the bush and they start speaking with me. Now we're gonna have to look back over the edit and see if we can pick something out that we didn't pick out at the time. But right now I'm pumped. My energy is all over the place. Look at these trees, guys. I was just saying to shock. It looks like, like a hand coming up, like the forest is coming up to grab you. That's what first struck me when I found this bit. And I don't know if you believe in premonitions or not, but I had a dream the other day that I was walking on this path. Like I could see the arched over trees. And right now, Shock's got the EMF out and he feels like he's being led somewhere again. So I'm going to try not to lose sight of him because earlier on we kept getting separated. But there's a bit of barbed wire there, so I've got to watch out. I did not bring the right footwear. If you're going to go exploring, uh, do not wear trainers. Alright, let's go up through here. There's another path up here. A shock through there. He's picking up on something, definitely. It's an eerie place, this. I love the woods. I love forests. You know, they can be happy, happy joyous places that you come to walk the dog, bring the kids, have a picnic. You know, everyone should get out into the woods more, as far as I'm concerned. But there's just something about this part that just, you can feel it, you can feel it. Not a lot of people that come here know what happened to Margaret. So maybe they don't pick up on it. Maybe it's that, maybe it's because I know what happened, but I don't know where it happened. That's all I'm saying. We're just going on what we're picking up. We're both experienced when it comes to the forest and the woods. Well, there's just something about this place. I can't wait to come back at night to this place. Um, and next time it's going to be three of us. It's going to be me, Shock, and Sunny as well. I can't wait. It's going to be epic.